Hello everybody, this is Budrich and in this video I would like to demonstrate uh, a script I'm working on here uh, that we in the next video we build that script together uh, from scratch but uh, I have um, yeah, tested some things out here and what this script will do is it will help me uh, add links to markdown documents uh, but while I was uh, <laughs> doing this, I, I think I might have discovered a, a, a Durtac uh, treasure, <laughs> a, a, a small small little bash snippet that is so dirty that it almost looks clean, you know. Uh, you will see. But first let me give you a short uh, primer here to mark down links and what this script does. It's, uh, it's quick. Uh, here I have this uh, page here in HTML rendered in the browser here and in Markdown down here in my editor. You can see here that we have two links. Uh, one here, BudLab's YouTube channel and one here to Hugo. They are defined in Markdown in, in uh, different ways here. You can take Hugo first here. Uh, square brackets, then the title of the link and then parenthesis and uh, the URL and the parenthesis need to be adjacent here to the uh, closing bracket here. So this is like the standard uh, way to define a link in Markdown. Um, but the other uh, way here we use, uh, I use uh, just square brackets and write the, the, the title for the link and it magically uh, appears here and points to the correct URL, my YouTube channel. And this is done by using um, markdown link references or something, which you write like this. You just write the, yeah, the title of the link in square brackets, but then you put a colon after the square bracket and uh, the, the link and this this is the only thing that this uh, you, you you only have one reference on each line like this and then you can reference the link in other places in the document uh, and I uh, prefer this this way of writing links a lot more than this one because it gets so cluttered if you have to add the URLs after every uh, link uh, it just gets weird to read the, the the article which is I know it sounds weird you are you sitting there reading your own articles yeah you kind of do that a lot when you're writing them but also later when you go back to them or, or whatever it's annoying to, to read too many URLs and some URLs you know are really ugly can be really long and, and whatnot um, and I also just prefer to, to write write the article like this, uh, putting everything in, uh, whenever I, I want to add a link, I just write it in square brackets and then add all the URLs uh, as references uh, when I'm done writing. And you can see here we have GitHub in square brackets and that doesn't have a reference. So, so it, um, so it, uh, then it just uh, renders with the brackets like this in the document. So it's, somewhat easy to spot them but it's yeah whatever um, but I thought um, maybe I can write a little script that will parse this markdown document find everything that is written within square brackets like this uh, and then see uh, compare that to some kind of a database list or something and automatically add all uh, URLs as references at the bottom of the file automatically for me. So I started writing this uh, script here which just <laughs> uh, link lord is the name of it. Whatever, don't ask why because I don't really know. Um, and link lord, uh, it have like three modes here. You can append links uh, and, and that is what I just described there. You 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 give uh, Linklord here a path to a markdown document, and then it will do that stuff there and append the links to the end of the file. Or you can give um, uh, Linklord a URL, and then it will add a URL to the database. Or you can execute it without any arguments, and then you will get, just get a list of all uh, links in the database. And the database. I know it's a somewhat cringe to say database, but it kind of is a database, you know. Um, it's uh, just a directory 
with a bunch of files containing um, links. Uh, and that directory is defined here as an environment variable called linklord dir, which is tmp links in my home directory, which I have open here. Currently, it only have two files. It's these two files, and they look like this. So they just have um, yeah, marked down link reference like this, then the URL uh, and the title. Yeah, just like marked down. And this one have two links. So we could first test link lord here with, without arguments. And here you can see it lists uh, the three links uh, and it also um, lists uh, the different files here um, with a forward slash to indicate that these are like categories. And if I select one of the categories, it will uh, bring up a new Rofi with only the links in that category. Right now that fonts category only have one link figlet. If I select that, it will put it in, in the clipboard, both in the uh, primary selection and in the normal clipboard, like this. Um, and um, yeah, we could also add a, a, a link, just to show you that link lord. Um, and then just type a URL, which you have to start with HTTP. So just something, whatever. And then uh, I get a menu asking for a title for that link. So something. And then I have I can choose a category here if I want to store it in MISC or fonts or if I want to create a, a new new cat, you know. And there it created a new category, uh, a new file, basically. And now we can also uh, choose that link from, from our list here. And we can also choose that new category. Uh, and all links stored there in, 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 uh, in the files combined uh, is uh, what we will search for when we parse the markdown document. And this is where I discovered this uh, weird... Uh, <laughs> weird... Um, thing here. Let, let me reset this first. So so this is how I started out. I had something like this. We, we get back to what, what's going on here, but uh, first also make sure we are in... No, we should do... Navigate to the directory where the markdown documents are. Here is this page.md, uh, which is this. So if we do link lord this page.md uh, it should append links missing links that it finds here and it will find github is one of the links there we have it in in misc here github uh, and, and i also think i have figlet somewhere here uh, credits here it is figlet so it will add the figlet font and it will also add the github font if everything is working now You can see now we have a github link here pointing to github.com because that's what this link uh, say here uh, but we can also see now at the end of end of the of this file it added these lines first this stupid link lord was here <laughs> reference which is like a this is like a dirt tag to add the comments uh, you, you could think of it to to a markdown document you can also write html comments like this but this is whatever. This will never get rendered, except if I would create a link called link lord was here, then whatever. And then it adds the link here. And I made the script so that you can run this uh, command as many times as you want, because there are still uh, links here now that isn't, uh, here we have Tailwind CSS, for example, that isn't, uh, that wasn't found, so it's uh, never added. Let's say I, I add that uh, link here, link, Lord, <laughs> so stupid. Uh, tailwindcss.com and the title. Then we want to match the title with the in the document here. So tailwind CSS category web whatever. And now if I do link Lord with this page.md here, 
should add Tailwind as well here now to, to the bottom of the page. But if you paid attention, you can you could see that it every time I run this command, it will add a new blank line here, which is kind of annoying. Um, and it have uh, it have something to do with I use C split here. We will look into details more into everything how the script works here. But C split is a program uh, that you can use to split files on a regular expression. So it's so it looks for this line, link lord was here, and it splits the document in two pa parts here. And when it does so, uh, it uh, somehow adds this uh, blank line uh, every time. Uh, so first I tried uh, with, I, I noticed that cat, or at least the GNU version of cat, have this squeeze blank uh, option. And if you use that instead of normal cat here, and we will also, cat is fine to use here, don't, don't worry. Uh, because I concatenate uh, the content of, of that split file with the new list here. So you kind of have to use cat here. Uh, and if you use squeeze blanks, then it will kind of work. Uh, but it's not perfect. As you can see here now, now we will not have... Uh, will squeeze all blanks but the problem is that it will squeeze all blanks so even wherever I add uh, like multiple blank lines it will squeeze them now with a squeeze blank option and that is uh, something that I don't want because sometimes you you want more than one blank line in 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 your markdown document I only want to trim the last blank lines here so I went on a Stack Overflow hunt here and found this uh, page here, someone having somewhat of a similar problem here, trimming blank lines. Uh, and the, the checked solution here is uh, kind of weird. <laughs> they use this TAC command and TAC, which is cat backwards. It prints of, uh, uh, the content of a file backwards, <laughs> or I guess uh, yeah, it is like cat, but but backwards. <laughs> so you know, cat it prints the file like this, but tac. Uh, God damn it! I should have taken a different file. It prints the file upside down, so it prints the first line last. So it does that, and then it counts the number of blank lines from the top somehow. Store that number. Uh, do some calculation and then use dd to sp it's super weird uh, just to, to remove the trailing blank lines here uh, but some then some uh, some other user here uh, had a somewhat leaner um, version of this uh, and i also read the comment here i don't know why he have gotten uh, a zero score here, uh, but here's one other possibility that uses the fact that command substitutions remove trailing new lines. Uh, and then it does this, but it still do some calculation here. Uh, word count, it counts the words here. Um, and then use DD. <coughs> and, um, but I thought but if uh, command substitution remove trailing new lines, then I don't need any DD. I, this is all I'm interesting, interested in. <laughs> and then it hit me. Th this is so this is so weird. This uh, what we will write here now. Check this out. But it works. It works. It, and <laughs> but it might be almost uh, you know illegal to write uh, something like this. Let's have a look at this uh, syntax here. I uh, don't know where to start. You know, when you write three left pointing brackets like this, that means uh, the content of this, which is uh, most often you, you just have a variable here, but you can also have like one of these uh, dollar parentheses. Uh, yeah, the content of, of, of this. Uh, should be standard input of the previous command here. So uh, 
for example, you could do figlet and then this instead in, instead of doing echo this figlet, you could do figlet this if if you get what I mean here it you can you can almost think of it as, as instead of writing echo something pipe you can do bling 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 something and that's actually much better it's it's much more efficient to use this triple uh, uh, thing here and I think it's this part that triple left pointing thing that is what truncates uh, or trims the the trailing blank lines okay but here they also use uh, dollar parenthesis left bracket here uh, that, that that is almost the same thing as writing this and, and now we get into like uh, what uh, Luke and and uh, DistroTube was talking about you know using uh, unnecessary cat here it's also more efficient to use uh, just redirect uh, file here to standard in here and then they will do the same thing <laughs> so uh, but then I wanted what I wanted was to to print then the content of the file without the trailing uh, uh, blank lines and I just thought maybe this works you know <laughs> and this works but we don't write file there Th this is the file we are trimming Th th this this works uh, this page I don't know if you get what what I'm doing here but it's it's kind of crazy no no extra blank lines and now I can also have these uh, extra lines in in between here it will only trim blank lines from the end not uh, in between exactly what I want and this this is an issue I have had on other occasions as, as well and as you can see the syntax here it's it's kind of nice you know it's a really short short line but is it really nice <laughs> this is kind of the same thing as writing this echo pipe that to cat and then let's also use a cat here th th this is like the same <laughs> The same thing we echo the cat of a cat into a pipe it into the cat I, I don't know if this works I don't think so now I think we will get the I haven't tested this but now we will probably add a blank line there or maybe not maybe that also works but that's uh, too stupid to write like that yeah that all that also worked but th when you write it like this that then it's it, it it's disgusting you know But this, <laughs> this is fine, and this is a way to trim blank lines from uh, from something. Um, and I'm, I don't know. It feels like uh, I have discovered something, like a hidden treasure, <laughs> a dirty hidden treasure. So that's what I've been doing this morning. Uh, writing this script and, and finding this Dirtac and in the next video uh, we get into more details and looking into this C split and, and this um, Yeah, this whole script here As you could see it, it did all those things stored uh, the stuff in the database. It's uh, Yeah, some things are, are more or less copy pasted from from the BWP script, you know uh, when we Add things uh, to history and stuff uh, whatever so if it will probably be like a video or two about how, how to create this link lore, but it is actually a quite useful uh, script here. And then you can also hook it up to to uh, um, to your link handler to uh, and, and use this as a bookmark thing if you want to. Whatever. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.